It was the fault of the psychiatrist. I was seeing him due to my pyromania. That's a person who likes lighting fires. You probably know that being university educated. Do you know the problem with pyromania? It's the only crime where you've got to be at the scene of it to make it a perfect crime. To get satisfaction. Of course, that does mean your chances of getting caught are far greater. Especially if you're standing in front of the fire. Face full of ecstasy. With a gigantic hard on. So I get caught by the cops. And they send me to the shrink. He says that I've got unresolved issues with my mother. I think, hello. He's not going to tell me to do something edible like fuck her or something. But that wasn't the problem. He says that my ego had taken a severe battering because of her. And that I needed to resolve this. Stop treating her like I was a child. Made some sort of cosmic sense. So I thought about it, and I realised that I needed to treat it like a boxing match. Get the first punch in, so to speak. Have the upper hand in our relationship. She had five cats. One night I uh, round them all up, put them in a cage, doused them with petrol, and set a match to them. <laughs> boy, oh boy. What a racket. They were running around the backyard, burning, howling. <laughs> it's no great under pressure for a burning cat, let me tell you. <laughs> I hid in the shrub when Mum came out to see what was going on. She totally freaked out. Five of them went around like little bonfires. <laughs> I figured I'd wait a couple of hours till the cats were dead and mum was feeling sorry for herself. And I'd go and knock on the front door and say, Hi mum, I've come to talk about our unresolved conflicts. But oh no. One of those cats ran into the house. Within a few minutes the whole bloody house was alight. And within half an hour, there's no bloody front door to knock on. If it wasn't for that damn cat, I wouldn't be here. 